from the app, we can tell the switch to turn on, which will bring the power to light. Because this is a smart light. It is. The Akara wall switch is a beautiful looking wall switch that is easy to use and automate. More importantly, it is HomeKit compatible and relatively affordable. But it's also got a hidden feature that most people don't know about, which is what we will be talking about today. If you did not catch our episode on how to install an Akava wall switch, pop over and learn how to install one yourself today. Now allow me to explain how this feature works. If you only want to see how this is done, jump straight to it by clicking on the link below in the video description. The first half explains why this is needed and how it works. In the nutshell, it allows you to convert the switch from this to this. Okay, not literally, you're not gonna be um, able to magically make it become a different switch physically, but we can make the wired switch work like a wireless switch. Let's go to the sketchbook so that we can explain it a little bit better. Here, we've got an Akara wall switch, and we shall label it A, a ceiling light, and this is how they are physically connected. Inside each switch, there is actually a tiny relay switch, and that's where the magic happens. It allows you to open or close the circuit accordingly and is represented by the switched symbol here. Out of box, pressing the switch button will cause the relay switch to open or close the circuit. Press it once, it turns the light on. Press it once more, it turns the light off. Simple enough. Now let's go to the wireless switch function. This time, let's assume that you have a smart ceiling lamp such as the E-Light. The wireless switch function only works with the Akara or Mi Home app. Other third-party apps do not support this function at the moment. Now once the wireless switch function is turned on, the switch will behave very differently. First, pressing the switch button will no longer cause the relay switch to react. This means that the circuit will no longer open and close like before because it is now behaving exactly like a wireless switch. The only way to control this switch now is through the app. From within the app, we can tell the switch to turn on, which will bring the power to the light. Because this is a smart light, it is controlled with a remote control or other means such as automation sequences. Pressing the switch at this point does not do anything you can still use the same button to turn the light on or off. This is done via the app. Here's an example. If the switch button is pressed, then turn the light on or off. This tells the switch to send the command to the e-light to turn the light on or off. Instead of opening and closing the relay switch in the switch itself, I know what you're thinking now. It looks like we've gone a big round to just achieve the same outcome as before. Well, not quite. The main difference here is, in this wireless switch configuration, the ceiling light is always powered. This means it is still connected to the Wi-Fi. It allows it to be controlled through the app, automation sequences, or even the remote control. If we switch the light off at the mains, none of this would work. So, with that out of the way, let's get to showing you how to actually do it with the E-Light and Akara switch in real life. The first step is of course to launch the app. This is assuming that you've already added the Akara wall switch and the E-Light to the app. If you have not already done so, please refer to the relevant videos, the links are below. Next, look for Akara switch A, tap on it more operations to bring up the switch menu. Tap on options or the three dots on the top right and look for change to wireless switch. Now this wall of text here simply tells you what I told you earlier so feel free to skip it. Scroll down and enable the wireless switch function. You can start creating automations from here by tapping the create automation button. Tap on the plus then add an if condition. Remember we said earlier that if the button is pressed, the light should come on or off. So, here, if the wireless switch is pressed, look for wireless switch A from the list of devices, 
and tap on single press. So this automation will trigger whenever there is a single tap on the switch. We want the light to then turn on or off depending on its current state. Therefore, tap on add more and select the E light and then turn on or off. Tap save, rename and you're done. So what essentially the switch will do now is whenever you press the switch once, it will tell the E light to turn itself on or off depending on its current state. You will be able to find the automation sequence under the automation tab. And the last thing to do is to ensure that the relay switch in the switch is closed so that you have power going to the ceiling light. Go back to the switch menu and ensure that it is on. If it isn't, tap on it once and the switch should come on. This is a long one. The wireless switch function on the Akara switch is one of the main reasons why we're still on the Akara or Mi Home platform despite the numerous shortcomings. It's a very useful thing to have without having to overload your home with too many switches. That's it. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe and share it with your friends. Take care.